German archives. That's much better. And, uh, but I think then he ought to tell what it is, and, uh, so the people won't go away with the idea that it's a Kennedy family Bible. Well, you want to, Bill, listen to this right quick, then. We'll go over it. George just have to hold up. Let's go over it, babe. Uh, uh, Marie, if you, if your voice will let you, if not, give George your notes. Type them up where he can read them. All right. The book which was used at the time President Johnson took his oath is and has been in the official government archives, together with other papers of the president. The book was delivered... Wait a minute, wait a minute. Now, wouldn't we say that's the White House? No, sir, I wouldn't say that. That makes it look, they'll ask you to wind the White House keeping the government archives. Well, it is at the White House, though, Bill. Well, you got that in your next answer anyway. All right, I just don't think you ought to say it's in the U.S. government archives. Let them call up the archivist and he say they never heard of it. Right. Do you get that point? Yes, sir. It's there in Dorothy Torita's lap. All right. And you, you don't know the facts, so that's why I have to point them out. Go ahead now. The book was delivered to the White House custodian of the presidential papers and documents who has custody of those papers shortly after the group returned to Washington. You might say in the executive office building, in the in U.S. government uh, archives, uh, uh, U.S. government uh, presidential papers at the, in the executive office building. Is that a little better? That's better. Up in that first Senate? Yeah. In the official government archives in the executive office building? I wouldn't say, I'd say U.S. government presidential papers. I wouldn't say archives, because you're going to get the archi archivist in this fight. Do you agree, Abe? Uh, well, I, I, it's all right, yeah. U.S. government okay. presidential papers. Right, go ahead. All right, that goes back up to the first sentence then, which now reads, uh, the book, which was used at the time that President Johnson took his oath, is and has been in the U.S. government presidential papers in the executive office building. Now, okay. is and has been implies to me that you deny and that you put it back in there. I don't know what it does to other people. It's a kind of a legal statement unless it's necessary. I just say the book uh, has been in there. Right or is in there, and then the next sentence you say is delivered shortly afterwards, so I just say that the book is. All right. All right. Go ahead. Uh, the book is, um, the book which was used at the time that President Johnson took his oath is in the, gov in the U.S. government presidential papers in the executive office building, together with other papers of the president. The book was delivered to the White House custodian of presidential papers and documents who has custody of those papers shortly after the group's return to Washington. The group returned to Washington. To the White House, if you want to, to the custodian who has charge of it, say. All right, sir. If there's a question on his... Did you say government custodian? I don't think that's necessary. I'm just thinking, though, it kind of... Official, official, I yeah. the official custodian. That's all right. All right, go ahead. All right. Has any de decision been made as to its disposition? No. No decision has been made about this or specifically about a number of other papers of the president. Many other papers, sir. All right, read that. No, no decision has been made about this or specifically about many other papers of the president. All right, can you describe this book? It is a missile, a prayer book, which along with other books was in the reading compartment of Air Force One. Now, is that all? Yes, sir. Now, there's one, there's, well, if any, he's going to go on to say that, uh, I, I hope he's going on to say that, that, uh, Let her read it. Read it, Marie. Go on. There is nothing that would identify this as the property of President Kennedy or anybody else, except the leather cover which well, had... Of course, that does identify it. I think you ought to say there's nothing that would identify it. What? Well, let's get across the fact that there is no uh, signature, uh, handwriting, uh, in the book. I would say the prayer book 
has a page for names and uh, dates which is blank in the cover to the prayer book on the inside uh, JFK initials uh, uh, printed uh, um, stamped stamped initials what do those initials say? RF JFK they're not stamped it's embossed in the slip cover all right embossed whatever it is slip I think. Cover, in the leather slip cover Mr. Justice, you want to give me that sentence? Well, that raises a lot of questions. It sure does. Enough to make me wonder if uh, it's, it's not a, appropriate just to, to write and say that we have, uh, upon looking, that, uh, getting it out, and we looked inside and found uh, these initials, and we would be happy to return it to Mrs. Kennedy. But, well, you see, I, I think that, that I don't, I, I just think that we ought to find out a little more before we say anything. I, I think, for example, if we could ever be in the position of saying that this book was handed to Mrs. Hughes or even to Larry O'Brien by a steward aboard the plane, uh, uh, you, 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 you raise the feeling that this is a conspiracy on our part to spirit away something that belongs to somebody else. Mr. President, uh, Bill, can, uh, are you well enough to handle this uh, up here? If you are, then I'm certainly Is that okay, Bill? Pardon? Is that okay? That's fine. All right. Uh, are you well enough to handle it? Yes, sir. All right. Then what, what does George say then? George says, uh, will say that uh, he doesn't know anything about it, but he understands that uh, Mr. Moyes uh, has the information. Or whatever you want to say. Well, that, that, that indicate uh, panic on Bill's returning to Washington? Yes, or sir. Yes, sir. Well, I came back just for that purpose. I still... Oh, you're not, you're not in Washington? No, I'm in, I'm in Washington, yes. I, I just want to register again my, my feeling that we ought not to let Newsweek magazine uh, force us into doing something today that tomorrow will, will look hasty. I just think that George ought to say, gentlemen, I don't know anything about that. This is the first time I've seen it. I'm sure that we'll look into it and see what information That's we good. come up with. And, That's and, good. Uh, let's take our goddamn good time to do it. That's good. Well, right now, Bill, I didn't hear all of that. I just think that you, this is my judgment. I just think you ought to say, gentlemen, this is the first I've seen of this. I don't know what news we can talking about. And uh, I'm sure that we'll look into, uh, to, to get the information on that uh, and, uh, as soon as we can. Could he just say that uh, on, all I know about it, I saw in the morning paper, I asked the president if he had read Newsweek. He said he hadn't seen it. And uh, I'm sure that uh, they'll look into it and they'll give you any information we have later. That's good. I, then I think Abe and I ought to call Justice Hughes. I think we ought to sit down with Larry O'Brien. I think we may even want to call in the steward of that plane mm -hmm. and uh, and get all of our facts before we are forced into into, into making a statement now we might regret later. I agree with that. That's good. Okay, then we'll let George go. You got any other suggestions for George and ask why he went back? What does he say? Well, I just think that uh, he could say if Bill would turn to take a day off. I don't want anybody to know I'm going to the doctor. Because they always blame you for that. And that's not the case this time, or any time. But I just think you ought to say Bill went back to take a day off. Or he went back to clean up papers at the, at the office. I don't, I, I told him, I told him last night before I left that George would be briefing this morning and that I would just simply be going back to work. I imagine they're beginning to wander now without <laughs> Okay, George, you run on. You, it's clear to you what you say? Well, I say that it's the first I've seen of it, and that I asked you this morning whether you'd read Newsweek, you, and you said you had not, and that uh, I was sure that... I think uh, what I'd say is I know nothing about it except the brief squib I saw in the paper this morning. I asked the president if he had seen the Newsweek statement or the script, and he said he knew nothing about it. All right. But he, he, said, he said he had not, period. And then, if there's anything else, just say, uh, we'll look into it, and I'll get you, uh, we'll, we'll, I'll have Bill look into it. Okay. Okay, George, uh, you want to ask Bill anything else about you? I don't your... think so. I can talk to him again later. And uh, then we'll leave here, Bill, about 8 or 9 o'clock tonight. All right, sir. Uh, you want me to get in the office about 30 minutes? Sir? You want me to be in the office about 30 minutes? Yes, sir. Okay. All right, anything else either one of y'all want to say to me? No, sir. 
Bill, what worries me is how anyone would know uh, this to give to Manchester. Mr. President, he just went all over the place, I understand, and talked to everybody. And uh, 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 let me tell you about exactly about my conversation with, with Goodwin yesterday. I think I relate most of it in the high points. Goodwin said it's become a very emotional thing uh, between uh, Mrs. Kennedy and Manchester because she asked him to do this. And uh, as a tribute, as a memoriam to her, bro to her husband, but it has run her mock and has become a very sensationalized, at least in look, uh, a very sensationalized uh, 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 Saturday evening post type thing. Now Goodwin said, and I'm just, and I'm just relaying his work, and Goodwin said that on, on Wednesday of last week, Sunday of last week, there was a very intense, anguished four-hour session at, uh, at uh, Hyannis Board, in which Bobby was president, Teddy was president, and others were president, uh, including Gardner Coles, in which uh, Teddy Kennedy said, if you, Gardner Coles, serialize this book, we're going to bring suit against you. And the firm of Rivkin and something or other up in New York uh, uh, has actually been retained to bring suit against Look Magazine if they serialize this. But according to Goodwin, and he simply, uh, my conversation with him took place yesterday morning. He called me back last evening twice. So he's been on the phone all day, and he said he'd never mentioned my name or anything. Uh, he was doing it on his own. He says that, accor that according to him, uh, that, that they had Manchester for $650,000 has been offered uh, the, uh, uh, the serialization in Look Magazine. And of course, Look Magazine does deal in, 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 in and uh, uh, Goodwin says there's a big fight going on right now and that, uh, and that Teddy Kennedy and, and Steve Smith, acting for Mrs. Kennedy, have said that if it is serialized, it looks like that they're going to bring suit to try to join look from doing it, but uh, we'll, we'll know. All right, anything else? No, sir. Abe? No, sir. I don't believe that, of course. I think that this is a presentation of the Kennedys. Uh, Ms. Shriver called me a number of times and talked to me, and uh, Ms. Kennedy said that she wanted him to do this book, and uh, uh, I think from the questions and answers that he asked you that this is a, this is a, another part of the look poll that began in Iowa and the Gallup and all of it. I think this is an attempt to, first, the first uh, uh, battle is to charge us with stealing the Bible. The next battle will be imposing on Ms. Kennedy. The next battle will be uh, uh, imposed on Bobby and on his mother and so forth, where he will wind up as great hero and we'll wind up as great thug. That's right. Well, we uh, saw something else that isn't quite consistent with this, uh, which said that uh, Mrs. K was trying to uh, arrange it so that Look Magazine, instead of publishing six, this in six, would compact it into three uh, uh, articles. Yes, well, you and, ba you and him talk about that. George will go on, and, and that, that'll be it. Much obliged. Yes, sir. Abe, yes, sir. Uh, I think we should do. Well, uh, any, I'll, I'm available to you anyway, anyhow. Do you want me to call uh, Judge Hughes?